I'm here in Cornwall demonstrating in the home of functional studio pottery. Hi, I'm Steve Boot and I'm a potter from Yorkshire and I'm down here in Tintagel in Cornwall in the old post office, uh, National Trust property and I'm going to do some demonstrating for the people who come and visit the house and hopefully entertain them for a while. Um, I like demonstrating here, it gets me out of the studio but also you get to talk to people who come to visit who are interested in the property and also are interested in seeing folk arts preserved and I think the ethos of the National Trust in pres preserving old properties and old ways of life is an ideal, um, it's an ideal opportunity for someone like myself. In Japan where 400 post Working at the old post office every year gives me an opportunity not only to work with members of the public and the staff here but also I bring other potters work with me to put on an exhibition inside the, uh, the, the old post office. The National Trust has sort of afforded me the chance of uh, exposing the general public and the National Trust members to some beautiful work by some extremely talented potters. We've got Doug Fitch who makes medieval uh, baluster jugs which are really in keeping with the, with the, uh, the building. They're, they're, they're based on work on pots created when this house was built. So the tradition is there. Hannah McAndrew, although she's Scottish, she does traditional English slipwear. Paul Jessup, who's a functional potter, who makes uh, red earthen slipwear for everyday use. And um, it's a really nice chance for their work to be seen not normally on someone's kitchen side but to be seen inside uh, a property from an era that inspires their production. Um, they all look as if they've been here for hundreds of years which is a testament not, not, to, not only to the pottery but to their skills as well. The pleasure I get from being here is working with the younger children because they have no inhibitions. They just want to get their hands on it, get mucky, make things. They ask questions that are pertinent because they're not embarrassed about asking the wrong question. They will ask any question. Like when I'm making a demonstrate in a teapot and I put the spout on, they quite easily remember to say, there isn't a hole for the tea to come out. You know, it's great. They will then go away from here and remember me, hopefully and um, hopefully take it up themselves. If I can pass that on to people who are watching, who might go away and think, I'll do a night class, I'll do a bit of pottery, I'll see if I can't uh, do what he does, because it's not difficult, it's just practice and having an eye for what you want to produce. Yeah, I mean, that, that bit, you would throw that bit there and put it to one My side. My first 18 years of life, every holiday was spent down here in St Ives, which is not far from here. And I'm sure that, that that experience of being here has helped me become a potter. I'm convinced it's helped me become a potter because you can't help but you be influenced by the surroundings that you're in, which is a reason why I like to work in this garden. This, this garden puts you in a good mood. It's calm, quiet, peaceful, and you can't throw pots when you're in a bad mood. Bad moods make bad pots. Good mood makes good pots. When I go back to the workshop I take the experience that I've got here and it influences what I do for the next two or three months.